Today is the second Sunday before Lent. The Gospel reading you will hear in this service of word and music is from John chapter 1, which includes the words, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it, which I will reflect on later. To follow, there is the Gloria, a hymn and anthem sung by choristers of St Mark's, prayers, a blessing, and a lively organ voluntary at the end. We hope you enjoy this online worship. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us reference for all creation and respect for every person, that we may mirror your likeness in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. from the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
This photograph is the tree in the middle of the vicarage garden, which was planted by my predecessor's predecessor's family. Their small indoor tree, rather than discarding it, was planted there nearly 30 years ago. At St Mark's, the crib has now been put away and the Christmas tree taken down. Last week was the end of the season, 40 days after Christmas. We move from the crib to the cross. Soon, the season of Lent begins, looking to the crucifixion of Christ. Another 40-day period, this time more solemn. In some churches I have known, there is a symbolic custom of stripping back the Christmas tree, sawing the trunk into two unequal parts and making from them a raw wooden cross to be used for the lamentation of Good Friday, literally from the crib to the cross. So the church here moves on, unapologetically acknowledging that there are inevitably dark periods in life before the light emerges to quench them. Today's Gospel reading from John, which is always the final lesson at the Nine Lessons and Carols, reminds us in the distinctive and mystical way that the writer of John does of the significance of Jesus as light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Challenging as it may seem, each individual has the capacity to reflect that light of Christ and shine with abundance, even in the shadow of the pandemic, the shadow of death, as the psalmist puts it. To live in the light is to be a beacon of hope in the world. And this week, Captain Sir Tom Moore, who raised millions for NHS charities last year, died age 100. In fact, the Prime Minister described him as a beacon of hope. Now, I don't know whether Sir Tom professed to be a Christian, but certainly he shone as a light, along with so many unsung heroes, I'm sure. When things seem bleak and we feel the dark and pain of the cross, more than the light of the risen Christ, let us pray and recall in faith that there is always that light which shines, even when it seems veiled and dim, and the darkness does not overcome it even to eternity. Thanks be to God. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Praying for the Church throughout the world, Strengthen James, our Bishop, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praying for the nations of the world, bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority, and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praying for our local communities, give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Praying for all who are unwell at this time. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit, particularly for Audrey, Antoinette, Alan and Sue. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died, the recently departed, including Howard Narraway, whose funeral took place recently, others known to us, including Captain Sir Tom Moore, and our own loved ones who have died in years past. 
grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St Mark and all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>